Hey, how's it going? And today we are exploring this Unreal Editor subsystem. And the reason I'm doing this is that I saw a presentation and they use the utility editor utility widget to shift the camera around in the scene so they could show off these different displays. And I just thought it was really cool how they were shifting the camera around and I came to find out that they were using this Unreal Editor subsystem. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about it because I couldn't really find that much online about it. So anyway, to get started with this, what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to go to Editor Utilities, Editor Utility Widget. And we'll just go select and I'll just leave it called what it is and then I'm just going to click into this and I'm going to dock this up top and I'm just going to create a canvas panel here just drag that onto the scene and then I'm going to get a button and everything in here seems a little bit different I'm just going to put this in the center of the screen right there and then I'm going to just come up here and on the color and opacity, I'm on the widget itself. I'm gonna see, can I just change this to green or something? Can I give it a color? See how I change it here and the color, it seems muted somehow, but I can bump it up. Something's muting the color, I haven't figured out what it is. But anyway, we've got a green button. That's all we need. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the graph side and what I'd like to do here is I don't need any of those nodes, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. And then I'm going to right click and search for something called Unreal Editor Subsystem. And we're gonna drive this off of a button press, so I'm gonna click over here and go on clicked. And now I've got this button. And there's two nodes in here that are of interest. The first one is Get Level Viewport Camera right here which gets the location of our level viewpoint camera which is is kind of cool and there's another node in here as well and it's called set level viewport camera so we can move it with this and the question is is of course like well where are we going to move it you know and we can move it off of our button press but to what location where is it right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into the scene. I'm going to come up here to place actors and I'm going to fly in here a little bit and I'm going to get a target point here. And I'm just going to drag this right into the scene, kind of in the center of the scene right there. So I have a location that I'm controlling. And then I'm going to come back in here into the editor and on event pre-construct, I'm gonna go get actor of class. And this will allow me to get a reference to that target. So I'm just gonna search for that target. Right there it is. And then all I'm gonna do is I need to get its, um, its location. So what I can do is drag off of here and go get location get actor location right here. And I could also make a, a variable out of this, but I'm just doing this for example. So I'm just gonna plug that in there. So I've got that target location is gonna be where my camera location is gonna be. Now the only other thing I'd like to do is that every time I, I press the button, I would actually like to rotate the, the camera, disconnect this. So what I'm going to do is on the rotation here, I'm going to split this struct here. And on here, I'm going to split this struct here. And then off of the yaw, I'm just going to go ahead and go add with the operator here. And we'll just plug this into the yaw. So it's just going to turn by a certain amount. Let's just say, I don't know, 45 in there. And I guess this can get plugged in there. I guess it will change every time it gets hit. So, okay. And that should, that should do it. So let's go into compile and save here. And then if I right click on this and go run editor utility widget, I've got this button now. And if I press this button, you'll see how the camera is now rotated in the scene. It's pretty cool. And so if you set up other target points, you could then 
shift your camera's perspective based on what you're doing with the whatever, however you wanted to manipulate it. Like let's say you had a bunch of displays set up in a circle and then every time you press the button basically you'd look at each of the different displays or you know move your camera wherever you want to move it based on the target points. So anyway that's all I had for today. I hope you found it helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.